ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Birdhouse. Go! Agnes Hawks Volleyball. At this time, we ask that you turn off your cell phones and refrain from texting during the play. Thank you for visiting St. Agnes Academy. Go Hawks! Agnes was a martyr in the 4th century, 
and she didn't want to have sex with someone she hated. So the Romans tried to rape her. But the rapist went blind. So they tried to burn her. The fire wouldn't start. <laughs> <laughs> so they stabbed her. And her blood filled the stadium. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to get slaughtered. I want to win. And most of all, I want to be Trinity. See the scared. <laughs> They're all right, and if we don't beat them, the parents are gonna freak. And coach, coach is probably gone. I think I'm the only one who knows how to do it, how to win a big game. So I gotta teach these girls to get. Crash. 
three girls up front, three in the back row, three touches per side, three shots to run an offense. The bump is set, the spike. First shot, the bump. The bump is your pass. The pass is the most important shot in volleyball. Show it, Adrian. Oh, yeah. Knees bent. Keep your arms straight. Chin down, hands low, wrists open. Get it, Mom. The team needs you, sweetie. They're short-handed. They don't even have enough players for a full roster. You can be their savior. Not if they stink. They won't stink. Good. All right. Second shot, set. I your setter. You pass the ball to me at the net, and I float it outside for the attack. Setter's your quarterback. She called your offense to watch for her. Let her do her job. I liked West. I was fine where I was. You were in trouble, Katie. Serious trouble, and it was only going to get worse. No, it wasn't. You were arrested. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I keep telling you that. Why don't you listen to me? You were there, and property was destroyed, and it's on your record. But it wasn't me, and everybody knows that except you. Find it. Ignore me. But at least listen to your coaches, your club coaches. Mr. Ryan says you can be recruited by colleges, the very best colleges. So please, don't miss that chance. Third shot, the hit, the spike, the kill. Shoot, the kill. You take a three-step approach and swing both arms. Left arm straight, right elbow high. Snap your wrist, take the top of the ball. You make choices in your life, you. You choose your friends, you choose how to behave, you choose who you want to be. You're not cornered, you're not trapped right now, you're free, but not forever. Mom, stop lecturing. I'm not lecturing! And now you're yelling! I'm not yelling! A kill is any contact that takes the ball to the floor. Kills how we score. We kill with power. We kill by hitting it where they ain't and crushing it where they can't. A kill is one point, no matter how you get it, whatever you do. Kill, kill, kill! Bring it in. All right, five minutes, hydrate. I don't want anyone passing out on me. Vomiting is acceptable. <laughs> Sacrifice!
Ginger Rally says that I should remind you listeners on SAA.com that I am also the voice of Bishop Hartley Hawks, our city basketball team. Bishop Hartley being the official brother school to say that, this, which is why I'm moving. Also, it's an assignment for Miss Ginger Rally's journalism class, but she says I should not say she also says I shouldn't say that the real reason I got interested in girls' volleyball was because of how sexy it seemed in the Olympics. I mean, these girls are long, lean, and have excellent posteriors. Miss Signorelli says that although the word posterior is acceptable in broadcast journalism, that I shouldn't say. And I also should point out that the St. Agnes Volley Girls wear spandex, not baggy basketball shorts, so it's hard not to notice them. Volley girls? You like it? It's a nickname, I just made it up. No, I don't like it, it's sexist, it's demeaning. Anyway, we're here with Captain Jess Hartline. I'm not talking to you. Oh, come on, please. It's from my class, if I mess up, I'm toast. You're already toast. Come on, please. What do you want to know? Why can't you guys ever be trendy? You're a jerk. Every player must trust every other player 
all the time. No other sport like this. And today's referee is Vladimir Lorkovich. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. Stoller? He said you were desperate. Get out of the way, Crash! That's not your fault! 
I don't care if they send it on one or on two. We play our game. Are you desperate? Sally, I'm a teacher. I came here to teach. Sam Crash Garber at the net, Danny O'Connell with the moves, and Captain Jess Hartline. The smartest, most, most scrappiest, most, most smartest player on the court. This has been Hawks Volleyball, streaming to you live on SAA.com. Coming to you from the birdhouse. Ka! Saying so long and sign out. So long and sign out. Yeah, it's corny, I know, but it, it's what I do. Talk about you, Jesse. Good game, by the way. Thanks. I can't believe how much court you cover. That's what the center does. It's still amazing. Okay, yeah, but it'd be a lot more amazing if we actually played in sister. Sister? Katie and Crash still haven't learned the sister. Oh, you mean like the Our offense, our plays, our attack. <coughs> cool. <laughs> uh, I'd like to learn the system. Because it would help with announcing the games. I announce the games. That, that's me. Uh, do you want to go to Fuzzies? <laughs> <laughs> Carnitas. Mm, Carnitas. Here, let me change. Oh, you don't have to change. Okay. English. I teach English. I'd like to teach volleyball my whole team quit. I've got four players who want to learn and then two newbies who won't listen. But you are teaching volleyball. You're winning. You just won another. We're winning ugly, Sally. It's a long lesson to teach. You know, Katie's got skills. Crash has a high volleyball IQ, but there's no structure. There's no plan. These girls are going to start thinking that things just work out, and they don't. If I don't know anything, I know that. Look, you wrote a beautiful book. And one lady hated it, uh, and... One important lady, a lady who called it an irritating morass. She's wrong. She should not. But you can't let her stop you from telling your stories. It is a beautiful book. Have we moved into talking about my personal life? Yes, we have. Well, Sally, this is my job. Can you stick to that, please? Try my job. The calls from the parents, complaints from alumni, getting callers at those chicken dinners at the athletic club. Oh, the big game. Trinity Saints this, Trinity Saints that. What's a rivalry? I don't know. But it comes with money, and we're a private girls' school, and we need money. And the money flows from a few pushy people who try to tell us what has value and what doesn't. Their pride, their shame, it all plays out on this court, and for some reason, it is important to them. So you can't keep losing to Trinity. Those people are the problem, Sally. They're not the solution. If you set the ball or dump it, it's a point either way. We're not going to beat Trinity without a system. I've seen teams win with no system. I've seen teams win without calling a single play. Yeah, not my team. Use your imagination, for Christ's sake. Pretend it's novel. No, ask yourself, why does this matter? Win or lose, life will go on. You're going to die anyway. So why does your performance on this court with these girls at this small school have any consequence at all? Well, I think it does. I know it does, but I don't know that you know it, and you have to. The committee told me they wanted you out, and I kept you in. But this is your last chance, Jim. Don't go away. It's called poaching. Poaching! It's when you take something that doesn't belong to you. Well, it was right in front of me, and you didn't call it. I don't have to call it that, but you don't understand. The setter takes the second ball no matter where it is, whether it's on the line or out of bounds. Yeah, you know what? You are out of bounds. You are coaching. What? Touching his wrist, playing with his collar, looking deep into his eyes. What are you talking about? Kevin LeBeck. Oh. Yeah, hello. He is my boyfriend. We were just talking. Back off, bitch. <laughs> Touch him again.
Crush hates Kate. No, she doesn't. Uh, did you see that look? Crush was going to crush her. Something is going on. What if she quit? She could quit. <laughs> oh, she could quit in a second. She could go right back to soccer. She wouldn't. Huh? Ah, that'd be so mean. Now, Crush is oh, all about me. It's true. Now, hey guys, um, hi Crush. I'm Katie, and I'm from West, and I'm really good at volleyball. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? My name is Crush, and I like to kick balls on the floor. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> And 
Candace Prestonwood handing St. Agnes its second straight defeat. Play. 
You will watch and learn, and I will tell you what to look for. You will never complain, <laughs> and you will do as you're told. You have zero chance of playing, okay? <laughs>
Wikipedia says they just invented it. The Y in the 1890s for guys who were too lame to shoot hoops. <laughs> soccer, on the other hand, is a real sport. You know, soccer is the most popular sport in the world. Did you know that? I did know that. Hey, how are you? Ben Carver. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Estbrook, Katie's mom. Katie. Katie is hoping to earn a college scholarship at this fake sport, Mr. Carver. Five straight years practicing five nights a week and playing tournaments on the weekends because this made-up game is the one thing that can determine either her bright future or her dull parade of days bagging groceries at Kroger. So my daughter, number 10, plays like her life depends on it because it does bend. So don't tell me what's real and what's not. Sorry, I didn't know. I 
by of Paul. See? You see this? <laughs> <laughs> this is fear. This is doubt. This is lack of confidence. She should have big round eyes like jungle cat, bright, burning. She does not. <laughs> she does not know this, but when she is not believing, she is literally not seeing. And this happens so fast, faster than blink of eye. This is the saddest thing in all of sports. It is true for every sport, not just this one. In life, also. Okay, enough, I am finished. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your theater. <laughs> And here's Candy set to serve. Here's the serve. Good job. Good job. What can the Hawks do in this situation? When the center can't set, the passing falls apart. Andrews is being asked to do too much, but with O'Connell on the bench, the Hawks are running out of options.
my whole game is coming together. I just, I want to keep doing what I'm doing, helping the team, so we can finally beat Trinity at least once before we die. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try to hide, <coughs> the spotlight shines on you. Hey, Liv, thanks for waiting. Hey, good work today. Way to move your feet in the back row. Thanks. Hey, can we talk about your Shakespeare paper? Oh, that's English. This is volleyball. Well, you're part of the team. If you go on academic probation, that will affect your team. My team. You're bright, Liv. How can you get an A in BC calculus and a D on a paper about Hamlet? That was easy. I loved it. Well, I love Hamlet. I don't. I hate English. I hate writing. All right. This is a volleyball. It is very much like other volleyballs. It is round. It is inflated. It says molten on it. How do I sound right now? Weird. Okay, and flat and static. Why? I don't know. No active verbs. So? That's how your paper sounded to me when I read it. Oh. You need action, Liv. Pepper with me. Come on, Pepper with a verb, action word, right now. You say one verb on contact. And no verb twice. Go. Whoa. Hustle. Dot. Set. <laughs> All right, shit can be either a noun or a verb, so oh. I guess we got it. <laughs> <laughs> but keep it clean. Uh, what are you trying to prove? You'll see, you'll see. Push. Pass. Float. Bump. Dig. Sky. Bang. just now sounded good. I didn't write it. Write like that in your paper. I don't know how. You know, Hamlet has the same problem. He's stuck. A ghost shows up and tells him to get revenge for his father's murder, but he's just a student. He's not ready. He's not sure if he can or should kill someone, so he thinks about killing himself. To be or not to be. There's no active verbs. Coach. Hamlet has to learn how to become, Liv, not just how to be. <coughs> to do that, he has to take action. Get active. Coach, I can't. He thinks out loud. He makes an effort. And he makes mistakes. Look, when you play, you're a competitor. How does the play end? I don't know. It's a sports scene, Liv. Fencing, a sword fight, action. Okay. Yeah. We stay with Hamlet through this very long play while he... He thinks and he screws up and plots and tests and teases and screws up and suffers and screws up again. Hamlet learns to act in his mind. And finally, at the end, he takes action. He's not afraid anymore. Write like you speak. Hell, live write like you play. Action. Not afraid anymore. Not afraid anymore. Like a Havali. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach. I gotta go. What you have is a name, Jim. What I have? It's a condition. And it afflicts you every moment of every day. Wait, did you see what I just did? Were you watching just now? Yes, a good deed. Good for you. Sally, lay off. Sorry, not possible. <laughs> How can you be such a jerk? It's not easy, actually, but it's more effective. Fine. Spit it out. What's my condition? It's called loseritis. Oh, come on. And it's mainly a mental condition, but it's also not unlike a medical condition, like herpes, for instance. <laughs> Clears up when you least want it to, and that's it's unpleasant. It's fine. Sally, I do not have loser. loser. <laughs> do you know how much I can help these girls? Yes, I do. You're very good at helping other people, and you're absolutely horrible at helping yourself. Why don't you see that? So, coach, are we feeling fierce today? Are we going to take it to the Tigers? Well, we're uh, still not in system, and we're not playing defense as well as we should. 
And we're not passing as well as we ought to, uh, plus our hitters haven't been getting back to take an approach, so all in all, I think we've got some things to address before we continue. Wah, wah, wah. These kids look up to you. They want to respect you, but you sell everything short. You sell yourself short. Is that what you want to be, Jim? Is it giving you what you want out of life? Are you talking about me or my team? What's the difference? You used to glow with talent as a teacher, a leader, a coach, a writer. I don't know. You have a gift. You create characters. Take us places. You can write. Who cares? Lots of people could, if you give them a chance. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you, your life, and your team. Hey, my team can beat anyone. Trinity? Trinity. Bullshit. You're not tough. You're mentally weak. You're not a warrior anymore. You're a loser. You're not generous. You're selfish. Yes, that's what I said. Selfish. It's profoundly selfish to be a loser. And it's easy. Too easy. All you have to do is start believing your critics and stop doing what you're good at. Stop reading. Stop scribbling in your notepad. Stop listening to your characters. Stop submitting your stories to magazines. Stop thinking you have anything to say. And then what you do is you obsess. You make it seem like you insist on your system, your drills, your discipline. You never go with your gut, never dive to danger anymore. You cling to losing like a blankie. Hey. <laughs> Sally, I love being a teacher. I love what I do. I'm good at what I do. You know, I could have done something else, made more money. But I chose this profession because it matters. I don't have to read my stuff or, or publish my stuff. Uh, it's not part of my job description. I have to teach, and that's all. Now, I'll not have you telling me that winning is everything, because it's not. You're wrong. You, you learn more from losing than you do from winning. Oh, my God. Well, you do, Sally. You learn resilience, sportsmanship. That may be true, Jim, but you can't see it. Why can't you I? You just can't. Our fans in the stands care about one thing. It's not how we play the game. They want to see you win, and they will learn from winning. They want a story, Coach. Yeah, we're giving them a story. Not the way you're coaching. Jim, now it's official. I heard it from the athletic committee last night. If you don't be Trinity this time, you're gone. Gone from coaching or gone from teaching? Gone. Here we go! Hundreds, times. Nothing. But Title IX, tax 
right, Jess, we're with you. You're going to be okay. <clears throat> this happens when women not have proper alignment. What's he talking? Many women sports injuries, you see, before they happen. He sees what? Sometimes too upright. Sometimes, you see, tilt. Tilt? You look, you see. Tilt? This is proportion, engineering. Bone and joints unable to take stress. I take stress! Mom. My daughter can take stress! Please won't stop! What do you know about women, comrade? <laughs> I am no gone. Okay, that's enough. I <laughs> am certified! That's one thing we agree on. Search went by who? You? The KDB! You are nothing! Do not no sacrifice! I leave my family in Russia. I care for your family in America. This you do not know. Mom, sit down. I will not. You sit down right now, Mom, or I will sit you down. This is a coach. This is a rep and a trainer. They're professionals. They're helping me. They're actually helping me. You are, don't you ever come on to my court or insult my officials or mess with my team. I'm a captain. You're a parent. You stay in the stands and behave yourself, you understand? She's my daughter. She's our player. Jeff, you heard him. Jess, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. How's it feel? <coughs> Not bad. Hey. How are you? I'm good. All right, let's go then. Let's walk it off. That's it? Walk it off? You see, man, that is beauty of being young. If you or I roll our ankle like she just did, we'd have surgery and three months of physical therapy. But for the young, we just say walk it off. If she's lucky. She is lucky. I hope so. So you see? Hitting line! Sorry, Jess. Strengthening and conditioning are important. God, Jess, did your mom really do that in the middle of a game? Yes. I think my parents had me just so that one day they could embarrass me. Oh, you must have wanted to die. I think. Yeah, I know the feeling. Okay, more crash? Crash you late. Nope, right on time. Something wrong? Her name is Katie! No. Oh. She is way wrong! She's wrong in a box! Yeah. <laughs> I assume this isn't volleyball related? No, it's personal. It's real personal. First, she gets on my boyfriend in front of like everyone, and then he doesn't answer my calls, return my texts, and then he tells me he's busy. Busy with something. Not with me! Oh, liar! Slut! I This is none of my business, but you brought this into practice, so now I'm going to teach you guys to compete, and to fight, and to finish. I'm ready for this now, girls, so go ahead and fight. Fight, fight, fight. Go for broke. <laughs> Keep it fair, and do it as a team. What? Huh? Well, Crash and Katie want to rumble, so let's set some ground rules. <laughs> Alright, no hair pulling. No scratching. Hey. No biting. <laughs> Closed fists, no swings to the face. I want to see body punches and basic wrestling. Good. Marisol. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs>
It's a wild pig. <laughs> I turned it girl to be wild pig. <laughs> yeah. Why do you tell them to be wild pig? <coughs> to be animal and use instinct. They think too much. They think too much? You think, you think, you think to learn, not to win big games. To win big games, you need something else. What else? district 
play is what happens when the season doubles back on itself and St. Agnes goes through a series of rematches as it tries to redeem itself. And this year, it does. Oh, yes, it does. It beats every formidable district opponent, all of them. And although they lost to Trinity early on in the season, the Hawks enter this tournament a different team, a better team. A team that seems to be able to steamroll over every obstacle in its path and is now poised with the TAPS 3A District 6 Championship for the first time in a quarter century. But only if it beats Trinity. Hey, Jess! Yeah? Hey, good luck out there today. Thanks. Hey, I don't even care if you win. Well, I do. No. <laughs> No, no, I mean, I know you're going to do good, and I know you're going to play awesome, but I, I also know that Trinity has beaten a lot of really good teams, and the coach played pro ball, and they have a better bench. Xavier! Yeah? We are going to win. Okay. I can't let the thought of losing to even enter my mind. If I do, it's like we've lost already. Wow. You get that. I get that. Good. Uh, Jess? Yes. I just want to say... No, don't. But thanks, Xavier. Here we go, ladies. Intensity on three! One, two, three! Go! Three! The electricity in the birdhouse! Oh, it's oh, a coach! It is luminous! Trinity swaggers like they own the world, and they do. Oh, yes, they do. They are red hot. But for now, they can share the limelight with the Hawks, who are even hotter. They're right hot!
violence has happened, folks. <laughs> I mean, these teams have such a rich history, we couldn't have expected St. Agnes to turn it around on a dime. Well, we could have, and a few of us even did. But that's not exactly realistic, is it? You know what? I hate this. I hate sports. All of them. All the time. They hurt people. They suck the life out of life. All of these teams, all of these leagues and districts and clubs, and almost none of them get a chance to feel happy or satisfied. And if they do, then it's over and you have to deal with the vacuum afterwards. Everyone keeps telling me to let go and let my daughter be, and then I do and look what happens. She loses and she's crushed, and it's just horrible. I don't care if my girl is a great athlete. I want her to be a great person. And this doesn't help. It just hurts. It hurts. Dude, tough game. Excuse me? Don't worry, coach. I'm not going to come at you like this. Parents are not allowed on the court. I just want to say I've seen what you've been doing. Winning nine straight. Getting this ragtag squad to come play together and play pretty good. I just want to say I like what you've given my girl Jess. Thank you. Now, I know you're not going to win this one, but I appreciate how you try. Hey, turn this thing around. Hey, you can hold your head high. You don't have a dead duck hanging around your neck like you used to, you know what I mean? It's not your fault you're supposed to shoot up out there, man. You ran into a meat grinder. No two ways about it. Hey, Phil? Yeah? That was the first set. We play best of five sets, remember? Sure, sure, sure. Look, I know, I know you mean well, but I've got a volleyball match to win here. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> Honestly, you beat them. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, coach. All right, ladies, this is a faster team than we're used to, so what do we do? What's the plan? Liv? Slow them down? We speed them up. All right, this is the plan. This will work. If we can't beat their outside hitters, we'll just kill them in the middle. Ingrid and Marisol are taller than their middles. All they have to do is get mean. Yes. Just hit middle and quick. Again and again. Look, even if they block us once or twice, we make them run. All right? We push the tempo. We force their outside hitters to come inside, make them crowd the court. And then we start to paint the corners. Coach? Yes. <laughs> I know. Jesse yes, opens amazing slides. Katie will do shoots and backs and stacks. Everything comes hard and low. Live and crash, go to the X play. Give me big, crazy, over the top face. Huge arm swings on your approaches. Ladies, listen to me. This will mess with their heads. Messing with their heads is very much a part of this plan. You understand? <laughs> There is nothing more exciting than watching these girls when they're inspired. They're long, they're strong, they're eight feet tall. They tower high like a mighty oak. Their eyes are bright, like the Havali. They won't know what hit them, ladies. Don't give them time to get a kill. Right? Listen, listen, they're going to wait for us to go back to the normal offense, and we won't. We never will. Ingrid! Are you crazy? Yeah! Are you wild? Are you weird? There's a trading pass. The big set. Yes, sir. 
Once again. Here's the turn. Change pass. Change check. Change check.
we're a small school, okay? So our passing, not so perfect. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Jocelyn, you're in.
Yeah. Same thing happened. Someone broke even and some 